Have you ever heard the word spectrum before and wondered what it was? Wow! And no, we don't mean this. The spectrum we're talking about is something you come in contact with each day. You just don't know it. In a nutshell, it's what local TV stations use to deliver their content to your home and every community across America. You probably know it better as airwaves. So when you turn on your TV to watch your favorite TV show, you see how Spectrum is put to use. Hey, but your darling, local TV station uses Spectrum for so much more. They use it to tell you about important information, such as breaking news, an approaching blizzard, or emergency information in times of crisis, like where to seek shelter after an earthquake. And you can't forget the local news. TV stations are a part of your community, so they use Spectrum to serve the public good. And since local TV stations are always thinking of ways they can improve what they're offering you, they're investing in new technologies to give you more choices and better services. What type of innovations do your local TV stations invest in? Really cool stuff like local TV on your iPad, <laughs> additional channels for specialty programming, and someday soon, they might be able to provide 3D TV. The best part? <sighs> local TV stations provide all of this cool stuff to viewers for free. Other big companies want to provide cool stuff too, ah! but they charge you, sometimes oh. big money for what they provide. Some bigwigs want to have fewer local TV stations so these big companies can control more airwaves. That means you'll still get cool stuff, but instead of getting it for free, now you'll have to pay a fee. So what does all this shuffling of the airwaves mean to you? It could mean you lose access to some of the local TV channels you really like. It could also mean fewer free services, all the cool stuff TV stations provide, like local news and shows on your mobile devices. Believe it or not, 46 million Americans get all their TV programming for free from local stations. They don't pay cable or satellite bills. But if there are fewer local TV stations and fewer free services, these people would lose out. Unfortunately, many of these are older, lower income, minority, and rural viewers. Some of these folks would have a hard time paying for entertainment and information they currently get for free. And those that do pay for TV might oh, see no. their bill go up with less competition to drive down prices. More money for fewer choices? That sounds un-American. Free local TV has been serving communities for decades. Let's make sure big companies don't get bigger at the expense of viewers that depend on free TV. Visit www.thefutureoftv.org to learn more.